الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام رسول الله وعلى آله وصحابه ومن سار سبيله إلى يوم الدين أما بعد So in continuing in discussing the book تذكرة في علوم الحديث by Ibn Malakin رحمه الله where we're discussing concerning matters related to as a reward so that matters that uh, revolves around the narrators of the hadith in the Isnad that the author rahimullah is discussing certain matters that one should be aware regarding uh, the uh, narrators so in continuing in discussing of those matters that pertains to the narrators <coughs> that the author rahimullah Ibn Malakin rahim, uh, Ibn Malakin rahimullah I mentioned Umarfatu Mudabbaj wa huwa riwayatul akran ba'duhum an ba'd fa'in rawa ahaduhuma an al-akhir wa lam yarwi آخر أنه فغير مدبج سرعة رحم الله إبن ولكن that he states regarding this particular matter regarding uh, of those uh, types of hadith that one should be mindful of <coughs> and that occurs regarding the, the isnad the narrators that he mentioned مرفتو مدبج regarding what is referred to amongst the of hadith as those uh, matters that relates to مدبج which as he outlined <coughs> and clarified what he, that he states concerning what is مدبج هو رواية الأقران بعضهم عن بعض that is the narration of those who are contemporaries narrating upon each other فإن رواة أحدهما عن الآخر that uh, where one narrates upon the other <coughs> ولم يروي آخر عنه and the other did not rate, uh, uh, narrate upon the other one then it is not فغير مدبج it is not considered to be مدبج so meaning concerning this the author rahimullah wish now to discuss this particular type of hadith so in starting regarding first what is said to be mudabbaj and as the author rahimullah ibn malakin rahimullah he discussed concerning uh, mudabbaj regarding concerning given its meaning istilahan as for its meaning lugatan concerning tadbij is regarding concerning tazin so as he mentioned uh, tadbij that uh, the meaning linguistically is tazin which is concerning beautifying of something <coughs> where they mention regarding concerning mudabbaj is by way of uh, linguistically tasawi arrawi wal marri anhu we are both concerning the narrator and the one narrated upon him that they are both <coughs> similar or equals then they mention regarding so that's concerning meaning linguistically as for the meaning that is mentioned by the ulama of hadith regarding concerning the meaning of mudabbaj istilahan according to the ulama of hadith in uh, they refer to this as concerning <coughs> and yarwi qarinain is by way of uh, to, uh, contemporaries are uh, two contemporaries are narrating wahum mutakhariban and both are very similar fisin wal isnad and both are very similar regarding their age and also their level in the isnad or the tabakat in the isnad so that's concerning i mentioned kulli wahid minhuma where both each of them <coughs> Yarwi and Akhir, we are both that they narrate upon each other. So that's concerning what is referred to as Mudabbaj. So Mudabbaj, that Atu Rahimullah mentioned, we find that two contemporaries, <coughs> both are similar in age and also they occur in the same place or the same level in the Isnad, where each narrate upon each other. That is considered to be <coughs> Mudabbaj. The second of those things that, he, that is discussed regarding this particular matter is the Fawahid. So what's the benefit of knowing of this? Of the benefit, as they mentioned, and la yudhun ziyadati isnad, that one, that a person does not perceive that there is something which is a ziyada, something which has been added in the isnad, because they <coughs> perceive that, they did not knowing, they believe that, not knowing that, each of them narrates upon each other, uh, and they give an example, so that's concerning uh, mudabbij. So that matter that they mentioned regarding Mudabbaj, so you might find regarding of this matter that may occur that they mentioned regarding. So you might see, uh, for example, in the narration of the ulama that they mentioned concerning Hadatana Fulan and Fulan. <coughs> so both said the Hadatana that uh, it had been narrated by such a person on such and such with on and such and such person. So both are the narrators that I mentioned where the person doesn't believe that the word wow, which is and, is meaning. <laughs> That is concerning meaning al-an. So not taking the word waw, meaning and, to be taken to be an, where they seem as if they are narrating each other, but rather <coughs> they are narrating together. So that's concerning those matters that they mention regarding mudabbaj. So it's both narrators at times. One would narrate upon the other, and that other will narrate upon the other one. <coughs> they mention concerning that uh, of the ulama, the first who have given of the ulama who have given this type of narration, this type of name, and they mention Imam al-Darakutni rahimahullah. So Imam al-Darakutni, 
amongst the first to use this terminology use this terminology regarding this type of narration of uh mudabbaj of uh, those who are akran those who are of uh, contemporaries that they are narrating upon each other <coughs> example as for example that is mentioned by the ulama regarding mudabbaj that they mention regarding one among the sahaba so regarding narration that may occur where one sahabi is narrating upon another sahabi and that sahaba vice versa narrates upon the other example of those we mentioned concerning narration of aisha that she narrated <coughs> upon abu Huraira. so we have <coughs> aisha and abi Huraira, uh, Huraira anhu. we find that aisha narrates upon abu Huraira and vice versa abu Huraira anhu, that he narrates upon aisha that is called mudabbaj among the sahaba <coughs> among the tabi'in they mention riwayat al zuhri and umar ibn al aziz so zuhri and umar ibn al aziz so regarding that uh, Az-Zuhri narrating upon Umar Abu Aziz and Umar Abu Aziz narrating upon Zuhri. So it occurs both ways. They alternate regarding their narration. Third of example, Atba at tabiin So amongst the Atba at tabiin regarding Mudabbaj, <coughs> example regarding Imam Malik Rahimullah narrating on Awza'i. Imam Malik Rahimullah and Awza'i and Awza'i and Imam Malik. So you find that both narrate upon each other. Uh, Imam Malik at times narrate upon Awzahi, and at times Awzahi narrates upon Imam Malik. And <coughs> fourth of those examples, Atba al Atba. So Atba al Atba that they mention regarding of those cases. Uh, example Ahmed ibn Hanbal rahimahullah who narrates on Ali ibn Madini. So Ahmed ibn Hanbal narrating on Ali ibn Madini. And also find narration of riwayat of Ali ibn Madini narrating upon Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal. So this occurred between the narrators and that is referred to as Mudabbaj. <coughs> also regarding this particular matter that uh, they mentioned that this type of Mudabbaj of this type of narration of, of between Akran that it occur. So as for Mudabbaj that the ulama put it into two categories of those who have categorized it into two categories. The first of those categories they mentioned Mudabbaj with the first as Mudabbaj, where I mentioned as mentioned that uh, one of the narrators, the narrators narrating upon each other. So each narrating upon other. So Rawi A that he narrates upon Rawi B. And Rawi B also narrates upon Rawi A. So that's, uh, that is Mudabbaj. So each narrating on each other and vice versa. So <coughs> the second type that they mentioned regarding this concerning that. What they refer to as Riwayat al Akran, that is, ref that is referred to as Riwayat al Akran, where it is ex uh, explained as an Yarri Ahad al Qarinain, where you find that one of the contemporaries that he narrates upon the Akhir upon another, Wala Yarri al Akhir Anhu Fima Yalam. And uh, so is meaning concerning that one of those two contemporaries, Fulan A and Fulan B. That Fulan A narrates upon narrator B. But there's no narration of narrator B narrating on uh, upon A. So that they refer to as al aqran So it's not vice versa where both are narrating back and forth upon each other. Rather, it's one narrat narrating upon the other. And it is not known that the other narrates upon the other one. And they mention regarding, for example, an example of this. The narration concerning that uh, Suleiman at taymi Suleiman at Taymi narrate and Mas'ar. Uh, <coughs> so Suleiman Taymi and Mas'ar and Qal al Hakim Rahimahullah La Ahfad Le Mas'ar and Suleiman Riwaya. That uh, Ahkim, uh, al, uh, al Hakim Rahimahullah he mentioned that there is nothing that uh, is aware of where Mas'ar narrates upon Suleiman, but there is narrations that are known that Suleiman at Taymi narrates upon Mas'ar. So that's concerning al aqran and that is not said to be mudabbaj. That is the second is not for that is not classed as mudabbaj. Uh, so that's concerning those matters regarding this type of hadith or uh, cases concerning al riwat. As for the next matter, in ending this matter that I mentioned, mudabbaj musannifat. What are some of the books of hadith that are some of those books that uh, books that uh, relates to this particular topic? What are the books? That relates to this particular topic. Amongst those books, of uh, um, those books that relates regarding Mudabbaj as the a book 
that covers this particular that topic, this topic in particular, the mention of the book of Imam Ad Darakutni that is called Al Mudabbaj. So Imam Ad Darakutni, Rahimahullah, or the ulama who died, eight forty five, uh, uh, three, uh, three hundred and eighty five, that he wrote a book Mudabbaj, and also others who have wrote on this topic. They mention Rawayat Al Akran, Rawayat Al Akran, that is Abi Sheikh Al Asbahani, Abi Sheikh Al Asbahani, also and that he died. 369, 369 Al-Hijri. So that's concerning that particular type of hadith that Atta Rahimullah mentioned regarding matter that pertains to the reward. That, uh, <coughs> of those things also that he discussed regarding, again, the person being aware concerning a reward, regarding having the full understanding, proper understanding relating to the reward of those things to be mindful of. He mentioned Marifatu Riwayat Al-Ikhwa Wal-Akhawat Ka'umar Wa Zaid Ibn Khattab. So he mentioned regarding of those also matters that relates to a reward, understanding well regarding of the cases that will occur regarding narrators that he mentioned, Marifatu, Riwayat, Al Ikhwa, Wal Akhawat. And the Ulama Rahimahullah that they mentioned this as concerning the Bab of Riwayat Al Ikhwa Wal Akhawat. The Ulama Hadith that they will title this particular uh, case regarding a narrator, which is narration between siblings between brothers and sisters so you might find that brothers and sisters also that they share as being our narrators <coughs> of hadith so want to be mindful of this and of the purpose that the per and concerning al maybe concern uh, what they meant concerning manish tarak those who share men are reward fil ism al ab those of the narrators who are who share the same father so that's concerning of those things regarding of the narrators to be mindful of so siblings who share the same fathers <coughs> and they're all narrator being able to can identify them and not to include people who are not from amongst them that may share their name that of those things to be mindful of regarding those matters pertaining to <coughs> uh, the narrators then he meant on but then he mentioned Ka'umar was Zaid Ibn Khattab so it is Omar and his brother Zaid both are Ibn Khattab both are Omar al-Khattab and Zayb bin khattab were both brothers and both narrators. This is of those things that is included regarding of those things that one should be mindful of regarding concerning the narrators. Where as we mentioned, <coughs> is with a person, the Talib, the Bahits, that Alim, that is able to make that distinction between those who are actually siblings, brothers and sisters, and those that are not. So at times, individuals may share the same father's name, but they are not siblings. So, for example, Ulma mentioned concerning Abdullah ibn Dinar. Abdullah ibn Dinar, and also another narrator called <coughs> Amr ibn Dinar. So, you have Abdullah ibn Dinar, wa Amr ibn Dinar. Both are not brothers, but they are, but they are both ibn Dinar. But they are not brothers. So, it be able to can make that distinction between those who are siblings and those who are not siblings, that, but they may share similarity with father's name, with their father's name. So regarding concern this particular matter, that uh, the pro the thing is the person not to uh, confuse those who are siblings from those that are not. So not confusing <coughs> those who are siblings from those who are not siblings amongst the narrators. Uh, so that's concerning the importance of this particular matter. Then the ulama rahimahullah, they have mentioned regarding example of this. <coughs> we will find that in case you might find that. Uh, uh, siblings may come in multiple ways so they mentioned regarding concerning that of siblings you may have at times brothers and other only uh, two siblings that they mentioned regarding in this case Omar ibn Khattab was Zaid ibn Khattab both are brothers so both are brothers among the Sahaba also you might have Abdullah ibn Mas'ud so you have Abdullah ibn Mas'ud and also you have Utbah ibn Mas'ud both are brothers so both are ibn <coughs> Ibn Mas'ud. So those are of the, the Sahabi. And you have others. <coughs> also among the Tabi'een, you might find also a similar case. Where you might find that uh, siblings also are narrated amongst them. So you have among the, uh, the Tabi'een, we have Amr wa, Arka, wa Arkam ibn Sharabil. So you have concerning <coughs> Amr wa Arkam ibn Sharabil. So uh, those are some uh, of among the Tabi'een that are also siblings who have the same father's name. Uh, so being able can distinguish who they are <coughs> and also you find concerning that also you might find in case you might find siblings that of the number of three 
so three different siblings uh, in amongst the narrators. Amongst them, for example, we have uh, Ali ibn Abi Talib, Jafar ibn Abi Talib, and also Akil ibn Abi Talib. So those are all children of ibn Abi Talib. So we have Ali and Jafar <coughs> and also Akib, all Banu ibn Abi, uh, Abi Talib, all Banu Abi Talib. So the, 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 uh, the Bahith, the Talib al-Im in Hadith, being aware of this. And also you have case concerning that, at times, <coughs> four different siblings. Four different siblings. Example, Abdurrahman, Muhammad, Aisha, and Asma. All of whom are children of Abu Bakr siddiq All of whom are children of Abu Bakr siddiq So we have Abdurrahman. We have Muhammad, three, Aisha, and fourth, Asma. All of whom are Awlad, uh, Abu Bakr siddiq Rata'ala, and who? And then you find other cases like these. We find other cases like these amongst that, the Tabi'in and others. Uh, so these are cases that occur regarding narrators. Uh, some of the ulama, so you have had, um, they have mentioned even times regarding some of the cases that have reached regarding siblings, 10 siblings. An example regarding over uh, 10 siblings regarding concerning that, uh, regarding Awlad al Abbas, regarding concerning Awlad Abbas, that they are many. And they exceed 10. So that's concerning <coughs> the children of uh, Abbas, that there are many. So at times, one uh, uh, siblings are narrators, and there may be many of them. There may be many. Uh, you'll find even cases regarding amongst the Sahaba, that regarding the Ithna Ashar, even siblings that reach a number of Ithna Ashar. But generally concerned, but a general thing is that for a Talib, is to be mindful regarding those who are siblings, and know who those siblings are, and also not to include those who are not siblings <coughs> amongst the reward, but may share similar names. Then they mention, so in closing with this matter, that they mention regarding Ashur Musannifat Fi Hadabab. What are some of the more renowned, or some of the books that have been written in particular regarding this particular uh, Bab, this particular <coughs> topic. Amongst them, the books that have been written concerning al ikhwa by uh, Abu Abbas Sarraj Abu Abbas Sarraj So al ikhwa Li Abi Abbas Sarraj Who died 313 Died 313 Al Hijri And also another book that is called Al ikhwa By Abi Mutarrif Al Andalusi Abu Mutarrif Al Andalusi And he died 20, uh, 402 He died 402 Al Hijri So that's concerning that also Matter that relates to uh, Al ikhwa Wal Akhawat That he refer to the Bab of as siblings. Then the, another <coughs> of those points that Arthur Rahimullah he discussed regarding al rewat Al other points regarding al rewat and he mentioned Manishtarak and who fi riwayat ithnain tabaad ma bayna wafa tehima kasaraj wa wa inna al Bukhari rawa anhu wa kathalik khafaf wa bayna wafa so he mentioned regarding the next point that regarding concerning of those things to be mindful of regarding the right that he mentioned that regarding concerning that of those narrators that the uh, one two narrators who meaning that two narrators who share from narrating on one uh person but the distance between those two narrators that there are a far distance uh, the, uh, of uh, many years have passed between both of their deaths so there's many years between the deaths of those two individuals who narrate upon their take up upon that particular narrator so this generally concerned the ulama of hadith that they refer to this they refer to this discussion regarding as sab uh, as sabi so the ulama of hadith that they refer to this particular type of situation as as sabik wal lahik as sabik meaning concerning al rawi mutaqaddam al wafat so the person who had died first amongst those two narrators who both share in narrating upon one teacher but the uh, the time span between the death of those two students that is many years apart many years apart so the mention that the first student is called as sabik he died first and the one uh who died later, Muta'akhir, Wafatu, that is called Al-Lahiq. So that's concerning Al-Sabiq, Wal-Lahiq, 
amongst the ulama of hadith. So many concerned that uh, this case concerning al-istila and yarwi ithnain, we find two narrators, taba'ad, where their ma bayna wa fayatihima, where the distance between their two deaths is many years. Wa yashtarik fi ra'atan shaykh, where they both share and narrate upon one particular shaykh. So these are those cases that particular that uh, occurs between concerning narrators. So as for as we mentioned, this is referred to as as sabiq wa lahiq, meaning uh, at, uh, uh, regarding and narrators. So regarding concern that even uh, the ulama have mentioned this, uh, we will find that one of the narrators who died early and the other one who died later on, and there's years apart between both of them. Of these things concerned to the fawa'id of this particular discussion, that one, that uh, regarding ulu al-isnad, so at times regarding concerning that, uh, it indicates regarding that uh, that there is an ulu in islad, uh, ulu in islad, in that both share in narrate upon that particular sheikh, even though there is many years between them. Second, also for a person not to perceive that there is a breakage in the isnad because the time span between both those two students seems to be many years apart, but rather that's there is no breakage between both of them. There is nothing. There is no one missing in between them. But both narrate upon the same sheikh. So that's concerning that particular matter. So the gap may seem many years, but in reality, both share in narrate upon that particular sheikh. Then the author, Rahimullah, then he mentioned, Kassaraj, Fa'inna al Bukhari, Yari Anhu. So Saraj, that is Muhammad ibn Ishaq as Saraj. Muhammad ibn Ishaq as Saraj. So his Imam and his Kunya Abu Abbas. Uh, Muhammad ibn Ishaq as sarraj that one of the ulama of hadith, he died 313, he died 313 of the ulama of hadith of Naysabur, and that uh, Imam Bukhar, rahimullah, narrates upon him, narrate upon Saraj in his book, at tariq So Imam Bukhar, rahimullah, have some narration upon from Saraj in his book, at tariq But also, uh, Khafaf also share with Bukhari in narrating upon Saraj. So both Bukhari and Khafaf and Khafaf, who's Abu Hussein, Ahmed ibn Muhammad, Khafaf and Nisaburi, that also Ida'i and Bukhari both share in narrating upon Saraj. But the death span between both are many years, over 130 something years between the death of Bukhari and that of uh, Saraj and that of sorry, Khafaf. So regarding concerning that particular matter, that uh, it doesn't indicate that there's a breakage in the Isnad or a gap in the Isnad, but rather it is referred to as that uh, one died early and the other one died later on and lived for a very long time, uh, where this uh, many years between them, see, to, uh, that, uh, many years between them, between their deaths. But uh, this sometimes occur, we'll find that some of the narrators that they may live for many years. So they may live for many years. Uh, so, uh, but others who may have not, they may have heard from someone and someone else who died much earlier heard from that person, but both of them share in narrate upon the same teacher, but one of them he lived for a very long time. So there's a gap between both those two students that are many years. So that's concerning those particular cases that does occur between the narrators, <coughs> where it is referred to as La Asabiq wa Lahik. As for regarding Al Musannifat in this particular chapter, uh, on this particular uh, topic as for books written on this particular topic regarding as sabiq wal lahiq that they mentioned there's a book of uh, Imam uh, Khatib al Baghdadi rahimullah. So Khatib al Baghdadi rahimullah he wrote a book that is called Al Kitab as sabiq wal lahiq. So Imam al Khatib al Baghdadi who died 463, 463 that he wrote the book, a book that is titled Kitab as sabiq wal lahiq and uh, this particular book. That uh, it is in print, uh, and of the ulama I mentioned uh, that uh, many hadith in Aisa. So you have uh, that uh, particular book, and that book is in print with a check-in of uh, a Sheikh Muhammad uh, Zahrani, rahimahullah. Uh, so that's concerning that particular work on that particular topic. So with that in short, Allah, we can somewhat. Uh, so what we have covered in this particular session that we have covered regarding what you mentioned as mudabbaj regarding narrators, also. Our riwayat al ikhwa wal akhawat narration that relates to brothers and sisters, siblings, and then also we discuss concerning uh, 
and what is referred to as narration regarding a sabiq wallahik regarding those who have died early and those who died later on but 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 both share in narrating on one particular teacher or <coughs> that's concerning this particular matter regarding uh, this particular uh, what the author rahimullah mentioned so this insha ta'ala will end with this particular session here and uh, wa billahi ta'ala tawfiq wa hadhihi as-sabil wal akhirah wa alhamdulillah